And welcome back to Model Stock. My name is Katerina. And I'm Candice. And today's guest is Kelsey. She's an amazing singer. She's beautiful and she's going to tell you what it's like to be a small town girl learning to swim with the sharks here in Hollywood. <laughs> Now, Kelsey, I saw on your Instagram, it was so funny to me, it said, left Florida to LA and never came back. Yes. So is that <laughs> what happened? I mean, like, how did you end up coming here to model? Um, and I did a year of acting school in New York. Uh -huh. It was way too cold. Coming from Florida, you cannot just go to New York and survive. It's it's. It's not going to happen. The winter was awful. So I moved back to Florida. Uh -huh. And then I actually um, auditioned for The Voice, the first season of The Voice. Oh, the show. How yeah. awesome. Yeah, okay. so I sing um, as well as model, but I sing. And so that's really what started the whole L.A. experience for me because I came out here, did the show. I spent like two months um, filming the show here and obviously fell in love with it. The energy, the people, I mean, it. It's indescribable. So especially coming from such a small town in Florida, I just, I loved it. Because so. you're like Vero Beach, right? Vero Beach. I yeah. totally know that because I've been to West Palm before. So it's like 15 really? minutes away. Yeah. See, nobody ever knows where Vero Beach is. It's like a teeny, be where is it by um, Burt Reynolds Dinner Theater was around there? Yeah. I totally yeah, yeah. remember. My mom actually did the dinner theater. So that's so funny that you know that. Yeah. It's that's like a crazy. small place that I, I totally know. It's got a beautiful, gorgeous beach mm -hmm. and it's just so relaxed and kind of laid back yeah and so I can imagine coming from there to New York would have been a huge thing for you for sure and mm -hmm. then when I got back to um, Florida from after filming the show mm -hmm. um, did well on the show it was the best experience of my life oh awesome! I literally went home and I think two months later drove my Chevy Cobalt <laughs> from Florida to across LA. the country mm -hmm. so yep. did you do it by yourself and you just said mom dad I'm just gonna go I did it with a it? girlfriend okay um, yeah I just I had her come with me and she flew back home but we took the drive together so oh that's awesome yeah, it was amazing it was I mean I'm so glad I did it because mm -hmm. obviously I love it here so and how long have you been here now almost seven years. Oh, time goes by fast when yeah. you're in LA. It just it goes really by like does. that. It really does. And I've been doing so many different things mm -hmm. um, with music, acting. Modeling is actually kind of a, a new thing for me. Um, it was never a new thing for me because I did it when I was very young in uh -huh. Miami. I modeled. Um, I did a few commercials and did a lot of campaigns when I was really young. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, when I came here, I think that the stigma in modeling was you know five nine and higher it was very like you had to be tall a to be a model look. and the industry has taken a shift i think um obviously they're allowing the curvier models mm -hmm. and the shorter models i'm five five so uh -huh. that's a struggle for me in the modeling industry and it was not really necessarily accepted for a long time um, so yeah, so it's, it's been like six months that I really took it seriously and. Well, did somebody come up to you because I mean, because of your height, did somebody say, Hey, you know, you are striking, you look amazing. Have you ever thought about modeling? Like how did that come about? Uh, yeah, you know, everyone, I always modeled, mm -hmm. you know, when I could, um, I just didn't think that an agency would sign me or take any interest because I was so short, obviously way too short for runway, but, um, yeah, I actually just recently signed with Wilhelmina. Oh, that's so, awesome. last week. So it was, um, it's an amazing feeling, especially being so short. <laughs> it's like, it's so hard. It's always a struggle for the short girl in this industry, always, so. Did you go to an open uh, call for open casting for No, Wilhelmina? I have an amazing mother agent. Uh -huh. We call him Mova, and he's <laughs> amazing. So um, he got me the, the meeting and uh -huh. it just worked out. Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yeah. And so you're still working on your singing because I know you've been doing it since like you were four and then you did like Radio Disney. Yep. And so is singing your main focus right now or acting or modeling or kind of all of it? Singing is definitely my passion. Okay. Um, it's always been my passion. It will always be my passion. Mm -hmm. um, I think that modeling is so fun and I and I really enjoy modeling. I love shooting. I love just the whole process of shooting and uh -huh. being on set and meeting all the people. And I've never had a shoot where I didn't like who I was working with. Right. So that is why I really love modeling. Um, but I love acting as well. Mm -hmm. And I write too. So I'm just trying to keep it push. I'm like, I'm a hustler. I like <laughs> go get it. And 
I always keep it interesting. I never want to just do one thing and put all my eggs in one basket. Right. I think that's so important to be, you know, here in Hollywood, in the entertainment industry, we've got just this plethora of super talented people. Like, mm -hmm. why else are you here? You're in the big pond. Yeah. You know, so it really helps to be well-rounded and mm -hmm. to be able to do everything. I saw this funny quote, because um, you were talking about, you know, modeling, that somebody called you the queen of the selfie, the queen of, queen of the Instagram selfie. Mm -hmm. So explain that to me. That was something that for, I think, like, <laughs> it was like a year of me just putting selfies up. Uh -huh. um, not only <laughs> selfies, but everyone just said I was so good at the selfies. They were like, you need to just always post your selfies because your selfies are so good. Uh -huh. And I'm like, what are they talking about? So the New York Post actually, um, I did something with them, an article with them, no, and they called, they called the me the queen selfie. Of the Instagram <laughs> selfie. selfie queen, yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh. Well, that's a great title. I mean, was yeah. there anything that you were doing like specific or special about your selfies that made them stick out amongst everybody else's? Lighting. Seriously. Lighting. So yeah. it's all about it the lighting. It was always about lighting. Like, I think that you just have to, if you find that right lighting, uh -huh. it will take you to, the to places <laughs> that you will never <laughs> think you could go. Because I'm telling you, it's like, you know, that usually it's like the golden hour, mm -hmm. lighting in the golden hour. I think that that's, you know, that's the best time. What about like the, the ring that people can purchase where you actually put it on your selfie and you have your light ring and that's your, ble your you beauty know, light ring? I never have had that and all mm -hmm. my girlfriends have it and I don't have it. And it's like, I love it. Like even lights like this, this would right. be great for selfie lighting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so oh, but that's all my so girlfriends funny. have that selfie light. <laughs> it gives you the ring in the eye. And yeah, like, and that glow. Very precise. Yeah. And it smooths out the skin. Exactly. So let's talk about some of the challenges that you've had in the years that you've been here. I found actually one of the most compelling quotes. I have to say, in all honesty, in doing this uh, show, it was the most interesting quote. And it was, you had said, um, once your blood hits the water, be careful of the sharks. And be careful who you give your time to, mm -hmm. because quite often they're not going to be worthy of it. Don't allow yourself to be a doormat, because it's all so easy to become that here in this industry. I saw that, and mm -hmm. I was like, I wish somebody had told me that when I first came oh, out here. You know, you yeah. kind of encompassed it into one uh, phrase. What made you think of that? What were the challenges that you went through to to say that? Um, I've been through a lot, uh, in the, especially in the past two years. I, I lost my father almost two years ago. It'll be almost oh, two sorry, years. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that was so hard because when you lose somebody close, mm -hmm. you really see who your friends are and you see who who is there for you you right. know so i think that you know that quote meaning that you know people may act like they're your friends or mm -hmm. they may act like they have your back but when s hits the fan yeah as you know what i'm saying you just that's when you really like realize who's going to be there for you and who has your back mm -hmm. um and especially in this town you know i've been burned many times in this town and I have gone through different friends and you know I had to wean out the toxic energy because it was drowning me you know so it was I draining think that, you yeah mm -hmm. it was it, it was so draining to have people um knocking you down but acting like they loved you and they had your back and they'd always mm -hmm. be there for you and when when the worst thing happens to you that's really when you realize like who, you know, who's who your there. friends are. Mm -hmm. And so professionally, did you feel the same way where you've given your time, you've given your energy to people, um, you spent time with them, and yet they didn't have your back professionally. They were wanting something else from you than what you were willing to, to give, mm -hmm. or they were just misleading you down the wrong path. Yeah, and I think that when I would go through struggles or when I would go through like issues, mm -hmm. um, you know, if I was failing in what I was doing or failing in, in my new project or, you know, mm -hmm. something that I was trying out, they, you know, they were only on board when they felt like they could get something out of it. Right. Right. So, you know, friendships started to come to a head and you started to see who these people were when you weren't succeeding at what you were doing. Mm -hmm. They were out. You know, so it was like they signed up when they could see the benefit in being friends with you. And that is really something that I learned in this town. You have to be so careful about, like I said, who you give your time to. Mm -hmm. And the whole saying of once your blood is in the water, everyone's a shark. Mm -hmm. It really is so true because 
when you start to have successes, mm -hmm. that's when you see people wanting to be around you and All wanting to sudden, hang yes. out. And, and it's like, are you serious? Like, what? where were you when I was eating ramen? And like, you know what I'm <laughs> no, saying? Seriously. It's, like, it's crazy. And so I think that I, I use that quote for my life because I, you have to protect your heart. You have to protect who you are. It's gonna drain you completely. And okay, what about the last part of it when you're talking about the doormat part? The doormat part. Um, yeah, so that's that kind of goes along with it. Mm -hmm. I think that um, I've always been a very trusting friend. And, right. And, and, you know, I come from Florida, so like we're so hometown. Everyone's friends. Everyone loves each other. And, um, you know, so I was always giving 110% mm -hmm. to every friend that I had. And they would just use me and use me and use me and use me. So I think that um, that's that's basically what that means. You don't want to be a doormat, especially in this town. Right. You have to always always be a good friend and always be a good person. But be careful who you give that time to. Absolutely. And then what do you think of like um, social media? Because I'm all there 100% with you right now. Yeah. And social media too, because people can actually get directly to you now. You want to be nice, yeah. but you don't want them to have instant access to you, like as a model or as an actress or anybody in the entertainment industry. Yeah, I try to be as open and as positive to anybody who, um, you know, wants to know about me or wants to know about my life. I try to be open, and I and I actually love to talk to people that aren't even friends. So you'll I, talk to strangers. I do on sometimes. I do. Messaging. Yeah, like um, sometimes I'll check my DMs and right. if it's not like a creeper, <laughs> I know. That's what then I yeah, then I um, you know I love to give advice and mm -hmm. I love to help young girls out who have insecurities and um, may have gone through what I've gone through, like losing a parent or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, so I love to be as open as I can when I can, if I you know, if I have that moment. So, yeah. Because I think it's really, it's it's so important for young girls that are coming into this industry, like you said, from the middle of nowhere, Kansas or Florida mm -hmm. or from Texas where I'm from, and you have this really open attitude and you're so friendly and nice. And then to come to LA and to be really, like you said, swimming with the sharks, mm -hmm. you know, and you really learn quickly that you have to learn to put up you can be polite and respectful and nice, yes. but you have to, you know, take care of yourself. Because mm -hmm. I feel like I've had so many situations too where I think I've been too nice. Mm -hmm. And people have misinterpreted being so nice. Yeah. And you felt that since you've gotten here. Yes, definitely. I, I have had to, um, like, keep my circle small, basically. So now I have a really good core group of friends who support and love me and mm -hmm. we love each other and girls supporting girls and I I love that. And I love that like women are so highlighted now mm -hmm. um, and we're taking over the world. So, you know. No, it's <laughs> awesome. Like even them. Yeah. yeah so. And so your agents and your managers too, like I was always careful to really pick my agents and my managers, um, one, to see that, make sure that they're good quality mm -hmm. agents and managers, but also people that I felt like I could entrust my personal life to. And I mean, you feel like you're really connected to your representation? Um, yes, I do. Uh, mm -hmm. my, my mother agent, we, we actually just recently met. Okay. But he's so amazing and his personality is like beyond. It's out mm -hmm. of this world. And so I have a very big personality too. Uh -huh. So we just click. Right. Um, but yeah, and I, I, I trust him and I feel so good about Wilhelmina. Mm -hmm. I really do. Uh, I think it's a great agency. And again, they're so, they're not the norm. You know, they, they, they don't, you don't necessarily have to be five nine. Exactly. You know? So, and I love that. I love that the industry has taken a turn. I really do. And I think just overall, like we were talking the other day, how there's handicapped models now, uh -huh. models that are challenged um, uh, mentally, and all sorts of different, like you said, the plus size models. Mm -hmm. And I love the way that it's taking a different turn, that they're embracing all sorts of beauty. Mm -hmm. I, I just think like, it's a new world. You know, this is this is a new time, and. Um, you know, the stick thin, like six foot girl. Mm -hmm. I mean, they're beautiful, of course, but it's it's just not that way anymore, I think. Well, so. I saw your images the other day. I was just like, because I didn't know I was going to interview you. Seriously, this is the truth. And I saw the photos, and there's one of you in a blue top, mm -hmm. and you're outside with the super curly hair. And I think Ricardo yeah. Parisi did uh, the hair. And did you do the makeup too? I wasn't sure. He did hair and makeup. 
Well, he's amazing. He's unbelievable. And he's I, so great. I saw that photo. He's so great. Yeah, it was on my feed. It must have been Ricardo's. And I stopped and I went back, 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 back so I could find the photo. I was like, who's this girl? Yeah, he's just so amazing. He's so amazing. And his vision, mm -hmm. I respect so much because he's so different. Um, his vision is so different when it comes to makeup. And so I really respect him and his art and I love I also just love him I just person. love him too he's just so like great. he he's just so great. makes the oh. whole room light up yeah, like he's you just, amazing and you die laughing the whole day you're with him right the whole day the whole time dying mm -hmm. and then we've done like uh, uh Facebook lives with him I actually go back and watch the whole thing because he's so funny yeah he's just so hysterical he's so funny so yeah I love him and that was a great day so that was an editorial called 1981 uh -huh. um we kind of just wanted to highlight uh, you know, the bold colors, blue, you know, the from lip the color 80s, that the I light. saw you, right? Mm -hmm. He did like an orange eye, which was really random, but it worked. Oh, it, worked. it was absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. So now do you see yourself in your career here in LA as continuing singing, modeling, doing everything? And you believe you should juggle all. all the balls yeah. in the air at one time? I, I so want to do it all. I like to be stressed out. Is that weird? <laughs> I mean, most people are like, what are you talking about? But uh -huh. I enjoy being um, just just doing everything. Mm -hmm. I don't wanna just do one thing. Um, again, I, I love to write. I'm currently writing a TV show right now. Um, so I wanna write, I wanna produce. Uh, obviously music is is still there and I, I am creating songs and doing music and those mm -hmm. should be released by the end of the year. Uh, yeah, and then acting as well. I did my first movie this year. Oh, it's, awesome. it's an indie film. It's called The After Party. Uh, it's basically like everyone is at an after party and we all get killed one by one. It's a horror film. <laughs> so my scene was the most gruesome. Awesome. It's very exciting, mm -hmm. but it was definitely gruesome. And yeah, so I, I just, I want to do it all, you know? Kelsey, thank you so much for being of here course. with us today. Thank okay, you. I've got one more request. Okay. You got to sing something for us. Okay. <laughs> uh, do you mind? Um, sure. Why okay, not? Go for um, it. Do you like Summertime? Do you know the song Summertime? I love Summertime okay. because Sarah Vaughn is one of my favorite singers, 1940s. Perfect. Perfect. Um, okay. Summertime and the living is easy. Fish are jumping and the cotton is high. Oh, your daddy's rich and your mom, she's good looking. So hush, little baby, baby, don't you cry. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Impromptu performance, why not? Thank you guys so much. Oh, I loved Thank it. You. Awesome. Thank you.